Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick look at the uh, uh, Raid Light uh, hyd Hydration Vest Pack. It's a 20 liter pack that they make. And this thing is just super light and super comfortable. It is, I believe, uh, around nine ounces for 20 liters, so that's really good. Um, and uh, it's a very minimal pack, and uh, but has some cool features. So as you look at it here, um, it has two straps across the front like the Nathan packs do. They're kind of a V-shape. Um, they're not adjustable at all. They're actually sewn in on the attachment points. So, um, but they seem pretty comfortable where they're at, and you can snug them up here. The buckles are a little chintzy feeling, but, um, I mean, they seem to hold okay. And, uh, so, and then you have two, uh, hydration flask, kind of like soft bottle sleeves on the front here. Um, they're very soft, stretchy material, kind of like the, uh, Salomon, the, uh, their lightweight line, that Ultra 2 and 5 and all that. Um, so they do fit the soft flasks. These are 20 ounce soft flasks. You get two of those and they come with the, um, straws there, insulated straws with bite valves. So that's pretty nice. Um, so that's what they look like there. So they give you two of those. They don't give you a bladder. Um, now it does say you could fit a hard bottle in the pockets and that's probably true. Although it's a little, you know, it's a pretty lightweight fabric. So I don't know how much support it would give for a hard bottle, but, um, I think there probably is enough room. And then you have these two elastics here. And the idea pretty much is that you could stick, um, uh, trekking poles through there if you wanted to. And, uh, but I'm sure you could, you know, sling a shirt or whatever over that as well. And then uh, up here you have a little elastic so you can kind of tuck the uh, um, hoses away if you wanted to. Or you can have them sticking up like this one. They're really, they're pretty tall. So I mean you could probably cut them down a little bit. Or not even, I don't know, even know if you need hoses really. Because it's pretty, pretty easy to get to the base of the bottle. But either way. Um... And then on the top you have kind of like load lifter straps coming from the back of the pack. So you can kind of snug those down to tighten the back of the pack. Um, and then probably the best thing about these packs is the, uh, the BOA um, tighteners on each side that they come with. So they're, um, I'm familiar with them from cycling shoes. Some of them use these the boa and it's just like a little ratchety thing here and you just turn it and it pulls this Kevlar cord or whatever so you have one of those on each side it's just a righty tighty lefty loosey so the pack is pretty comfortable to begin with but once you snug those up it's really locked into you there's no and it's really comfortable, I have to say. Um, so that's a pretty awesome feature. And that comes on their 10 liter pack, which is similar to this. And they have a small, they have a three liter, which I don't remember if that one comes with that or not. But that's probably the number one feature of this vest that makes it so awesome. Otherwise it's built very softly, like the Salomon Ultra pack. So very comfortable. Um, it, you know, so it's built super lightweight. So there's only one pocket on each side and that's right here. It's a, it opens vertically. And so it kind of goes like half forwards and half backwards. So it's not a huge pocket. It's probably, you know, you can kind of see the edges right there. So, but enough for, oh, I don't know. I mean, definitely one cliff bar, maybe two. And so you have one of those on each side here. Um, has some little laser cut holes in it, the same way on the front here. So that's probably the one thing I wish on this pack that it had was a little more storage on the front side. Um, I think they could do another, like a dump pocket on the front here, just basically another layer of this fabric. 
uh, on each side would be awesome. And there's really no storage up above here, which a lot of these packs, they don't seem to do those too well anyway, so I don't know how big of a deal breaker that would be. But if you had one more pocket on the front here, that would really make this pack, because the way it is right now, it's a little, I wish it's not quite enough storage on the front for me. Um, you just have these two little side pockets, which I don't even know if they would fit a pair of gloves or anything like that. A buff probably for sure. Um, so I'll take the pack off. We can check out the back side of it here. So the inside of it is a soft uh, mesh, a lot like the Salomon, like the bigger Salomon packs, like the five set and the 12 sets, kind of that sort of soft mesh. There's a little bit of padding to it, so it's pretty comfortable. And that just lines the whole inside of the pack there. And then you can see this is the back of the pack. So it's a pretty simple, it's just a big cavity, except for the two side pockets here. Um, so you have two big side pockets. You could probably fit like a nail jean bottle or something like that in there. Just real stretchy. Um, not really, at least for me, they weren't really accessible from the front at all. It was too hard to reach them. And then the back is just this uh, ripsod nylon kind of stuff. It's actually pretty sturdy. So, um, and then on each side, there's two compression straps that you can use to tighten the whole pack down. Um, again, this is another place where I think they could not gain a lot of weight, but just add a, a lot more storage. They could put like a sleeve of that stretchy material on the back here. And then if they just put some uh, bungee cord on the back here and maybe even on the bottom like some of their packs do, that would increase the storage a whole bunch and it would be pretty awesome. Uh, on the top here, it's a roll top closure. So you have two, two buckles on the top here. So you just undo those and you can slip them under these black straps if you want. And then that just unrolls. So you can see it's a, actually a pretty big pack. So there's where your 20 liters of storage, you could have it pretty tall if you wanted. Um, there's two little tabs at the top here, and then it's Velcro at the top. So you open that up. And uh, so I just have some clothes in here. Let me dump those out. And basically it's just a big old, big cavity in there. So you can just throw a bunch of stuff in there. Um, there is a sleeve for a uh, hydration bladder. So there's a spot for that there. And um, here's the holder, it's like a Velcro strap to fasten the hydration bladder on to the back. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty much all there is to the pack. It's a really simple pack and but it seems really well made I read some stuff that Ray Light was pretty too lightweight and pretty chintzy but this doesn't really seem like that other than whether the front could hold hard bottles which it's not really designed to do that so that's fine um, on the top of the shoulders you could run the hydration bladder tube under this it would come out under this fabric and then out to the to the front here, so that's where that would go. Or you could, well, I guess you couldn't run it out over the top, but so yeah, it would run underneath there. But yeah, overall a really nice pack. And the like I say, the 10 liter, if I remember right, actually does have the a small dump pocket on the front of the soft flask sleeves. So it has some improvement there. And, but yeah, if they could add a couple more a little more storage on the front like that and on the back hopefully um, I think this pack would be a real winner because it's already really light and super comfortable with that boa construction on the side there so 
But anyways, hope you like this look at this pack. It comes in two sizes, a small and a large. Uh, it runs about 190 bucks. And there you go. All right, thanks for watching, guys.